Hello and welcome to my garden. This is my carrot bed. I've put it in at the end of July. I was a bit late because this used to be full of onions and they were still doing really well. So I let them go to get a bit bigger rather than take them out at the beginning of July. And uh, these carrots are autumn king. So hopefully they'll uh, they'll do quite well. I didn't get total germination, but I got a fair few. What's that? There's a percentage here, it's probably about 70, 80, who knows. Anyway, um, although we're having a bit of a warm summer's day at the moment in September, it's September the 2nd, and we're forecast for the next few days to be warm, the temperatures at night get down to about 10 degrees. Uh, any below that, and I think the plants will start sulking and stop growing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure up this cage and I'm going to put over it a plastic sheeting which has got holes in so that we'll still get aeration so that I don't have to worry too much about any kind of uh, mould forming. So if you bear with me I'll just go measure up, close the cage and uh, see where things go from here. bed is nominally 8 foot, which is 2.4 metres I think, and it's about 3.5 feet deep. So that was just in the 3.6 metres all the way around. And that was six foot all the way over there. Just double check it. Yeah, just over six foot. So I'll say 1.9 meters. That means so 3.6 by 1.9 meters is what I'm going to cut. And then I'll try and string it over. I got these little corner brackets and mid brackets from a place called Quick Crop in Ireland. I could have drilled holes into the wood and just put the stuff in but then they also supply these lovely little pegs I suppose and uh, they're a cross shape and you can get four in so you can see there four in and they hold them really well and this is 25 millimeter pipe so see I've got it on that bed there and this bed there but more about those later and I've got it held down by just a bit of batten around there so when I come to put the plastic sheeting on I'll be taking the batten off Wrapping it over and then holding it in place with a button. So, oh, is that a weed growing in amongst the carrots? No. Can you zoom in and see that? Yeah. There's a caterpillar munching on the uh, carrot. I thought I had something in there. Well, that'll have to be dispatched. Sorry for those who are squeamish. I'll do that off camera. Right? But 
I'll come back later when I'm prepared and I'll cut the sheet and I'll, you can have a laugh at me trying to strap it over because there's not a drop of wind at the moment but you can guarantee as soon as I get the sheeting over the wind will pick up what could possibly go wrong see you in a bit well back again I've taken the buttons off around the side and if you can see down here I've left it hanging because I've got the hinges attached to that side so what I'll do is I'll start to try and hook it all together and hopefully there's not a jot of wind will stay not a jot of wind Right, here goes nothing. I'll give my big head in the way.
put the hinges on first. So far so good, I'll just have to do the other side now. John. And again.
And there we have it. I got this from a company called Hacksnix. A while back now, I forget how long ago it was. When I checked the measurements, it was 1.8 meters in width and I think 10 meters in length. So I've got plenty to do the other two. In fact, I could even do the other four. But we'll see, we'll see about that. I mean, it's not too tight. I just want to help protect it at night time. The holes will let the rain through and let the air flow and the little mesh will prevent any of the big bugs getting in although it appears I think it's a moth has got in and laid its caterpillar eggs I've dispatched three caterpillars off camera that's probably why I haven't got full germination and probably why I haven't got well you can see some of them are as they say moth eaten but that's it that'll do for me cheers for watching happy gardening